Hello all, this video is on 10 relay GSM with timer and 7 input triggers made by NSK Electronics Bangalore. This has got 10 relays which can be operated by sending message from mobile and it has got 7 input triggers also. It is built on SIM 800C GSM module and the microcontroller used is Renesas. It has got 2 relay driver ICs and then a regulator IC 2596 and a bridge rectifier. You can use power 12 volt DC 2 amps or you can use a transformer also. The 10th relay is on the top and other relays 1, 2, 9 in a single row. So total 10 relays can be operated by sending message from your mobile. It has got a SIM tray, SIM holder where you can use all SIMs except 4G LTE Geo SIM. Geo SIM is not supported. All other SIMs are uh, supported. You can place the sim on the correct direction and then put the lock the input triggers are on the top from uh, in 1 to in 7 it has got separate led indicators a 12 volt ground is provided for looping the input all uh, terminals are extended by the pbt uh, connectors the input terminal uh, the inputs are provided with uh, optocouplers a stub antenna is supplied along with the board the, now we are going to supply 12 volt 2 amps to the terminal plus and minus uh, reverse is not an issue as we are use, as on board there is a bridge rectifier so you can use 12 volt 2 amps transformer or a 12 volt 2 amps dc adapter now notice the LEDs, the green is power LED, the red LED will blink and then go steady. The yellow LED is the network LED, watch this LED. It will blink fast once in a second while searching for the network and once network is uh, received, it will blink slowly, that is once in two seconds. Now call to the, the SIM on board, it will get ring back and then it will go busy. So this is the first test. To register your master uh, number, you send message hash capital X to the registered uh, to the SIM number on board. Just capital X, your number will be automatically registered. For registering more uh, numbers, you can use hash 2 STN, hash 3 STN like that. Maximum 7 numbers you can store. You get a number confirmation message back once your master number is registered so for only one number you just need to send hash capital x to switch on the relay you use uh, commands hash a1 the first relay will go on and you will get a message back the confirmation that uh, the relay one is on to switch off the relay you send message hash a0 all commands should be prefixed by hash a0 a0 to switch off like this you can switch on other relays b0 b1 b0 c1 c0 like that. now let us test the dtm of mode call to the number and then after the beep sound you touch on the number one to switch on first relay one beep for uh, relay on two beeps for relay off again touch on the same number to switch off the relay like this you can switch on second relay third relay like this up to nine relays you can switch on and off tenth relay is not supported by DTM off touch on the same number to switch on touch on the same number again to switch off this is uh, DTM of mode and in the message mode, you can send hash SPN to know the stored numbers. Send hash SPN. The stored numbers will be, you will get message of the stored numbers. Now we have stored only one number. So there is only one number. To know the status of the relays, send message hash STS. So whether the relay is on or off, you can send hash STS and know the status. Now, relay 1 and uh, relay 9 are on. 
so in the message you get relay 1 on and relay 9 on all others are off to switch off the relay uh, you can send hash a0 so that the now the first relay will go off like that you can switch on and off other relays b c d all show command should be prefixed by hash to switch on all the relays send the command hash capital l1 one. one by one the relays will be on to switch off all the relays hash capital l0 all the relays will go off one by one So this uh, the uh, there is a timer uh, uh, function also for timer in seconds use hash sta equal to seconds suppose you want to switch on the relay a for 10 seconds hash sta equal to 10 the first relay will go on for 10 seconds and then will go off automatically and the related commands uh, the message you will get a on in timer mode and then a off in timer mode for minutes you use hash mta all in capital hash mta equal to the minutes for example suppose you want to switch on the a relay for one minute hash mta equal to one you send the message you will get the confirmation and then the a relay will will go on for one minute after one minute the relay will go off so this is timer mode in seconds as well as minutes all commands should be prefixed by hash the related message you will get uh, that is whether the relay is switching on in timer mode or not now the uh, relay a goes off in timer mode after one minute next uh, the we'll check the relay contacts that is each relay has got uh, three contacts that is the no normally open common pole and then normally closed we'll be using no and c nc is mostly not used but if you require you can use nc also for ac load to connect the face of the ac to the pole that is a c and then load is always connected to no point that is normally open one end of the load is connected to no and other end of the load is connected to neutral so the concept is when the relay is switching on the face will pass through the pole and then through the no which changes state and then to the load so the load will switch on now for testing let us use a bulb load with a two pin main scored i cut the face wire in between and the wire that is coming from the face i am connecting to c that is the pole and the other end which goes to one end of the load is connected to no so this is a simple connection and the other end of the load is connected to neutral once ac is provided to the board never touch the board uh, be careful now to switch on the bulb you send hash a1 capital a1 the relay will switch on and the bulb load will go on to switch off the bulb send message hash a0 all commands prefixed by hash capital a and then zero send the message the relay one will go off and then the load will go off this is ac load same way you can uh, you will get the message also whether the relay one is on or not same way you can connect dc load also so connecting dc load to the pole c you connect the suppose it is a 12 volt load you connect positive plus 12 to pole and then one end of the load to a no and the other end of the load goes to negative that is a minus of the uh, supply dc supply so when the relay goes on the contact will close and then the load will go on so this is the connection to the relay now let us see the input testing there are seven inputs 
i n 1 to i n 7 each input has got a uh, optocoupler protection and then led indication and then 12 volt is supplied 12 volt on ground we'll be looping the 12 volt to the inputs to trigger the input only the 12 volt is used not the uh, ground is used so the 12 volt suppose it connects to i n 1 the i n 1 is triggered for uh, testing we are using an external relay relay board this relay board has also contact we will be using uh, the common and no of the external relay board the common of the external relay board that is a pole is connected to 12 volt point and the no of the external board is connected to ion one in one that is it will trigger in one when this relay is closed external relay is closed no other supply should come through this contact only the contact should close for triggering this external board, uh, it needs 5 volt. So, it ne we are using a separate power source, external power. Uh, that is, an ordinary 9 volt battery is used to this external board. And trigger, it is triggered through that 9 volt through a resistor. So, that uh, the it is triggered by 5 volt. When 5 volt is supplied to the external board, that relay will change state. Where the change state is sensed by the IN1. You can see IN1 LED is on and in, in your master mobile, master number, you will get the message that uh, the input 1 is short. That is a message received. This message you can change. Let us see how to change the message. Uh, that is uh, user friendly. It is user friendly. Now you get uh, when the IN1 is off, you get the IN1 open, input open message. To change the message, you use the command hash INS1 equal to message. Maximum 20 characters allowed. For changing the message of the IN1, we use INS1. Hash INS1 equal to message. For example, let us say we use the message alarm close for uh, first IN1 trigger. Now you get the confirmation that the message has been updated. After this, now let us test the IN1. Let us trigger the external relay. Relay contact will close and IN1 LED will be on. Now you will get the message that uh, you get the updated message. That is alarm is close. The default alarm has changed now. Now let us uh, open the IN1. You get the default message now. Let us change the open message. For changing the open message, the command is hash INO1 equal to message. Like this, you can change all the seven messages. The default message can be changed. Maximum 20 characters allowed. Hash INO1 equal to your message. Let us say alarm open. All message should be prefixed by hash. Now you get the confirmation. Now let us check. First we will trigger the IN1. IN1 is on. You get the updated message as uh, alarm is uh, uh, on. That is alarm is closed. We change the message. So the updated message we are getting. Let us remove the IN1 trigger. You get the updated message. Alarm is open. So like this. You can change the message, the default factory default message as per your wish. Up to seven messages, that is a, all seven inputs, you can change the message. Now let us test the other inputs. Remove the uh, 12 volt trigger pin. Now let us loop the trigger to other one, that is a IN2, IN3. So the respective message you will get, that is a factory default message only, we have not changed the updated the message. You get IN2 open, IN2 close and IN6, the sixth relay close. When you release it, it will go get, you will get message IN6 open and then the IN9, 